praise God, fellowship. How you doing? Are you mellow? Are you mellow now? Are you guys mellow? Do you feel mellowed out? Just resting in God, resting in his presence, and feeling his love all around you, his presence all around you, his peace beyond understanding all around you. Ah. Can you feel it? Give me a thumbs up if you can feel God's presence right now. If you can feel that peace right now, give me a thumbs up on the screen. Give me a thumbs up. It feels so good to rest in Lord. It feels so good to rest in the Lord. To leave the world at the door. Leave the world at the door and enter in to his secret place and just rest, rest, rest. Amen. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Praise God, fellowship. Praise God, praise God. And now we're in part three, Kingdom Biz. And what that means for those who are new, Kingdom Biz is when you get to share your testimony regarding the question for the day. And the question for the day is always based on Monday and Tuesday's lessons. So Monday's lesson, Monday's lesson was time for a spiritual prison break. Monday we talked about, Monday we talked about the prison in your mind. Tuesday we talked about the power of praise, to praise God anyhow, a poetic lesson. So that's Monday and Tuesday's lessons. The prison in your mind, break, break, break three, a prison break, prison in your mind, and part two, Tuesday, the power of praise. So the question for today, for you to share, is when have you had, or when have you, excuse me, me when have you felt that you had a prison in your mind and you had to praise out of it? When have you had, or you felt you had a prison in your mind and you had to praise your way out of it? A prison of depression, a prison of anxiety, a prison of hopelessness, and you had to praise your way out of it to get the funk out of your head to praise God and feel free again. So I want you to share your testimony and when you had to praise your way out of some a heady moment that felt like a prison in your mind and how you had to praise out of that, to praise your way out, praise your way through and praise way to the victory over whatever you're going through. Amen. And that's what we're talking about. That's our testimony today. Your testimony today is about how you had to praise your way out of whatever the situation is. Amen. I get, I'll, I'll, I'll always start, as always, I'll give you an example from, from our side. Ne needless to say, needless to say, that when we got hacked the first time, for eight months, we lost this channel for eight months. And the devil tried to tell us that the, 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 the channel was gone. The, try, the devil tried to tell me that all 3,000 videos were lost. So heaviness came in and heaviness tried to come in my mind because the heaviness was, I lost 3,000 videos and the channel. So heaviness tried to come in and make me depressed. Even though we had another channel, the, the round the bush was, we had another channel, but still the voice kept saying, you lost your videos. You lost 3,000 videos. You lost your main channel. Look at you, you failed God. You failed God. The attack was heavy. And thank God we praised God in the other channel that praised my way through the heaviness attacking me because of what happened to the main channel. So that was a perfect example. Thank God we had the, 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 the other channel the ram in the bush to go to the other place and continue to praise God every day until lo and behold, God moved and removed all the hacker codes and brought this channel back. And, they, and the, hack, the hacker tried again the year later in 2023 and he brought the channel back. And now he's tenfold the membership of his channel after being attacked and hacked two times God has now blessed this channel tenfold. We had 35,000 subscribers in March 
in March, we had 35,000 subscribers in March. And now we have over 530,000 subscribers since March. Don't tell me God, don't tell me God is not a good God. God is a good God. And he'll turn every single thing around. Every single thing around. God is a good God. Can't tell me that. Somebody tells me there is no God. Excuse me. When you felt God's presence, when God has moved in your life, nobody can tell you there is no God. Because God touched you. God moved in your life. So praise God. Praise God for all the people that God has brought to the video. He has brought all these people to see these 3,000 videos. But I had to praise my way, had to praise my way through the attack on my mind, trying to make me think I lost all the channel, all the subscribers, all the videos, to make me think I had to start all over again. The other channel only had 2,000 2, subscribers. So the attack was heavy. So I had to praise my way through the, the attack on my mind to make me think and affect my praise that we did have. See, the, the attack you go through, every attack is trying to make you think God left you or make you think you failed God. The devil is a liar. All he has is lies. The devil is a liar. He knows he can't make us do anything. So he tries to trick us, seduce us, distract us. He does whatever he can to pull us away from God by tricks and deception. He knows that if we praise every day, he can't touch you. He knows if you worship every day, he can't touch you. He knows if you see God's face every day, he can't touch touch you he'll try yeah he'll try but if you're connected if you're connected every time he tries you rebuke it you bind it and cast him back to pit of hell and you use your authority when you stay connected you always remember to use your authority and don't put up with anything the devil has to say don't put up with it I mean, Jana, so many new people so many new people joining us daily even only just once. Right now we're averaging 8,000 new subscribers per day. 8,000 new subscribers every day. Some go to music, some go to prayers, some go to sermons. I, I, have, I, I don't even care where they go because here God has given us so many videos of ministry and word and, ser and sermons. We've done 900 lessons, nine, over 900 mini nuggets. Over 1,800 golden nuggets and the other videos of music and prayers. So God knows. He knows where he wants to take each person who comes here. God knows exactly where he wants to take every person. Every person he takes to something they need to hear that day. So in that 8,000 per day, many are Christians. And they're going to different lessons to hear the word of God through music or sermons or Bible study or poetry, gospel vibes. The main point is, as God had me upload all these videos, is to give them a smorgasbord of the word. God said, don't worry about it. God told me to upload, upload, upload. Don't you worry about it. Just upload what I tell you to upload. I will bring the people. He said it, he said it at the very beginning. In the very beginning, he said, you just upload what I tell you to upload. And then I will bring who needs to come here and when they need to come here. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about don't worry about subscribers. Don't worry about it. Just upload what I tell you to upload. And then I will bring the flock to you to be fed by what I tell you to upload. And that's the blessings of that. So when I understood that, I got the prison on my mind that. How can I do this, Lord? How can I do this? He said, don't worry about it. I got you. Don't worry about it. I got your back. Just be obedient and upload what I tell you to upload. No questions. Just do it. Just do it. Amen. Ms. Nettie.
there has been several times where I didn't want to get out, but I didn't want to get out of bed, but God turned on Mr. Fitz and First Lady, and the problem didn't move, but my spirit in God, by my spirit in God, and my and, and my problem ceased. Oh, but my spirit in God did, and the problem ceased. So when you woke up to the word of God and you woke up to the ministry, your spirit came on fire. And and the devil had to get the devil had to flee, Miss Nettie. When you start drawing near to God, the devil had to go. And the problem went with him. The problem went with the devil. Beep, beep, pshoom. As you as you drew near to God, God drew near to you, Miss Nettie. And the problem had to go. <laughs> That's right. God is faithful. He'll always give us what we need to escape and what we'd be able to do to embarrass him. So God is a good God. He'll turn everything around as we see it all the time. Amen. Thank you, Miss Nettie. Thank you. Amen. That's what it's all about. See, see, you thought you're going to stay in bed, but God had a different plan, Miss Nettie. You thought you're going to sleep longer, but God said, no, wake up. Wake up. There's a message for you. And the message was for you to be strong that day. Get up. Praise God. Beep, beep. And the devil had to go. <laughs> Amen. Michael Lynn. Hey, Michael Lynn. Same there, Michael Lynn. Same thing. Same testimony. Amen. The, the, the God woke you up. God woke you up with a message for the ministry. Amen, Miss, uh, Michael Lynn. Amen. Same thing. Praise God. Praise God. See, he does that over and over again. The Holy Spirit knows exactly what you need to hear and when you need to hear it. The Holy Spirit knows everything. He sets the schedule. The Holy Spirit sets the schedule. He knows exactly what you need to hear and when you need to hear it. Wake up now. You need to hear it right now. Wake up. It's time to hear this message for you. This message is for you right now. Wake up. <laughs> and because you were obedient, you woke up, got strong in the Lord, and the problem ceased in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God, Miss Nettie. And thank you, Michael Lynn. Amen. Praise God. That's why we sing it all the time. That God is able. It doesn't matter how it doesn't matter how it looks. God is able. And we said the verse earlier. God is able what? God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think, according to the power within us, our connection with Jesus Christ, the power within us. God is able. God is able. Amen, Michael Lynn. Every time, every time you, you every time you turn on, you, every time you turn on the ministry, you feel the message from the Lord. Amen, Michael Lynn. You feel the spirit. You feel it in your spirit. You get a, a huge uplift. Amen. Praise God. And that's the anointing coming through the computer. The anointing comes through the computer. The anointing can be recorded. Now we know the anointing can be recorded. And you feel the anointing come through the computer screen and touch you. All of a sudden, you get happy. You start praising God. You jump up and start running around the house. <laughs> praising God. Because the anointing came through the computer and touched you. Amen. Uh, Snurks. I believe God is renewing and restoring from cancer and surgeries, monitoring spirits, or my or my prison. I deal with daily as I see people from the past I don't want to see anymore what I've been through. So the so the past keeps trying to come back into your mind, Snurks. You 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 you, you believe in the renewing of any restoration from cancer and surgeries, but you're trying to keep the pe the prison in mind is the past, the past trying to come back and build those bars back, right? And you keep praising because you keep the the bars from being rebuilt. You can't let the prison come back, and you keep rebuking it and binding it and keep the past under your foot, to keep the past under control. And Miss Nurks, praise God, Amen, Amen. Uh, Sheila, Sheriff Sheila, I said, Lord, I need encouragement. My phone rang and my sister called out and prayed over me. Amen. Amen. So your 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 miracle came through the phone call and your sister got together and prayed over you. 
at just the right time. Amen, Sheila. At just the right time. Amen. Justine, many times throughout various illnesses, listening to praise music, worship music, God has sent strength and healing to my body. Amen, Justine. By feeding your spirit, feeding your spirit, music, sermons, Bible studies, you'll feed the spirit and start the flesh. Feed the spirit that can bring healing into your, into your flesh. Amen, Justine. Praise God. Even even from the first, even for the first note, Michael Lynn, from the first note, as soon as you hear it, amen, you jump up and start getting get the spirit. For the first note, the spirit touches you. Amen, Michael Lynn. That is the spirit of the Lord. That is the spirit of the Lord right there. And because the anointing, uh, Michael Lynn, because of the anointed music I play. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's God. Praise God. I thank God for, for touching my music. I prayed for that very beginning. I prayed, Lord, please touch all my music, my new music, my old music. God has brought all the songs back from 1980. He brought the 80s song back, the 90s songs back. And God is using all the music in the same time right now. Music written 30 years ago, he brings back right now, 90s right now, and new music. He does, God is the master DJ. God is the master DJ to tell me what to play each time we come together. That's why it's so powerful. We feel the anointing because God is working through the music that he told me to write and then to upload. Amen. Amen. Uh, Michael, Lynn, so true. They keep they keep trying, but they can't. <laughs> but they can't. Amen, Michael. Lynn. The devil keeps trying, but he can't. Because you keep praising. You keep you keep praising and praying. And we keep praying and praising. The devil can't touch you. The devil can't touch you if you keep praising and praying. The one-two punch. Praising and praying. Don't, 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 don't. Can't touch this. <laughs> In your face, devil. You can't touch someone who praises and prays every day. Untouchable. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Adjusting prayers and listening to the word of God has been a part of the process all. Amen, Justine. So prayers and listening to the word has also been a process also. Amen, Justine. Amen. Amen. Snurks, keep praising and praying. Amen. In your face, devil. In your face. I am a child of God and nothing shall but enemies hurt me to use my authority. I've been given the authority to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing, no thing, devil, shall but enemies hurt me. In Jesus' name. Amen. And that's how you use your authority. Amen. Amen. Ajana, Ajana, speaking of words, it is well, even when it isn't, like Hannah did to the prophet Elijah. Best prison break. That's the best prison break tool there is to say it is well in the middle of turmoil, claiming the victory, not the circumstance. That's right, Jana. Claim the victory and not the problem. Don't look at the problem. Claim the victory. It is well. But God, we said this last week, but God, it is well. Thank you, Jesus. That is claiming the victory even before it's there. Claim it, see it, believe it, receive it, expect the victory. Thank you, Jesus. It is well, but God, God is able. All those are statements, like John said, those are all phrases. And she uses, she says, it is well, attack, attack. It is well, attack, attack. But God, attack. God is able. See, the devil wants you in fear. The devil wants you in fear. But instead of fear, you say, but God. Instead of fear, it is well. Instead of fear, thank you, Jesus. He doesn't expect that. He expects stress, anxiety, worry, panic attacks. But you say, it is well. But God, God is able. In your face, devil. <laughs> in your face. Amen. Michael N. Michael N. So funny you are mentioning this. It happens every day for the last two weeks for turning on my music. Amen, Michael Lynn. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I need him every day and the devil flees. We need, we sing it every day. I need you, Jesus, and I need you what? All day long, all day, all night, around the clock. Don't leave home without him and don't go home without him. We say it every day. I need you, Jesus, and I need you all day long. Amen, Michael Lynn. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. That's that's why we sing it. Some people ask me, 
some people ask me, why do we sing the same song every day? And I tell them, this is not, this is not a music showcase. This is boot camp. We sing the same songs every day because this is boot camp, not a music show. This is not a music showcase. We sing these songs to burn the songs into your spirit. I need you, Jesus, all day long. With Jesus, every time I walk, talk, pray, say, with Jesus, it's going to be all right. At peace with my Lord. So we sing these songs every day to burn them into your spirit. So when you need a song, you start singing one of these songs we sing every day. That's the purpose of singing these songs over and over to burn these songs into your spirit. So when you need a song and you're depressed, I need you, Jesus, all day long. You need, you need some peace. I'm at peace with my Lord. With Jesus, it's going to be all right because you're under attack. Have you ever awakened to one of these songs? Sometimes I wake up singing one of our songs. I wake up singing it right in the middle of the night. I wake up singing one of our songs in praise. Come out of sleep, sing a song. And that song usually applies to that day. So we, God gives us the music to burn into your spirit, to use it whenever you need it. Amen. Amen. Uh, Tanya, thank God you don't flow with, thank God that you flow with the spirit and you are so anointed. Thank, thank, thank you, Dot. Thank you, Sheriff Tanya. Thank you, Sheriff Tanya. I give all, I give all the credit to the Lord. All, all I prayed was, Lord, I said, Lord, bless my poetry and bless my music. I, I say that several years ago. I said, Lord, I just want you to, to bless my music and bless my poetry, that it may be a blessing to everyone who hears it. So God, God touched my poetry. He gave me 300 poems in two months. He gave me 300 poems in two months. Right after I said, Lord, bless my poetry, bless my music. All you need to do, all you need to do is ask him. Just Lord, say, Lord, when we say, Lord, use me, you're saying that, Lord, use me as you see fit for the kingdom. And you ask that question and he will answer and touch you in that area of prayer. Amen. Jonah, it is well. It is well even when it isn't. It is. Amen, Jonah. Claim it. It is well, even when it isn't, it is because you just said it. As a man thinks, so he is. Life and death in the power of the tongue. It is well. Life and death, power of the tongue. It is well. Attack, attack. It is well. Attack, attack. It is well. Praise God. But God is well. Because God said it. That settles it. God said it. That settles it. Period. Period. There is no more discussion. Prison break. Prison break. Woo! <laughs> Amen. Amen. Amen, Snurks. That's right. Breath prayers. Breath prayers at work. Or wherever. Breath prayers anywhere are powerful. Don't forget your breath prayers. Pray anywhere. In whisper. Whisper if you can't say out loud. A breath prayer, I say all the time. A breath prayer is as powerful as a shouted prayer. But you're still talking to God. If you're talking, if, as I said yesterday, if you're talking to the Lord, if you're talking to the Lord, that is prayer. Whisper, loud, singing, shout, whatever it is. If you're talking to the Lord, that is prayer. Because prayer is a conversation with God. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, Tanya, uh, Tanya uh, uh, totally works. Amen, Tanya. Uh, 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 what was that? Uh, Michael Lynn, it is well. It works. Amen. Amen, Tanya. We sing, we sing unto the Lord. That's right. The word says, the word says it. Sing unto the Lord. A new song. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Michael and praise God. The music, praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. This is anointed. Amen. I thank God for that. I thank God for touching the music. Because he gave it to me to write. He gave it to me to write at a time when nobody liked it. When I wrote most of this music, nobody liked it. Everywhere, everywhere I submitted the music. In the world, in the world, everywhere I submitted the music, they got it got rejected. See, the devil tried to make me give up writing. Every time I wrote a song, I submitted, it got rejected. So the devil was trying to make me think the music couldn't couldn't be couldn't be effective. He tried to make me think the music was a failure. But I kept writing. God said, "Keep writing, keep writing." So I wrote, but I, I didn't know what to do with it. This this was before Gold Nuggets. I wrote the music. It had no idea. What to do with it because it kept getting rejected. And then God gave me golden nuggets. He said, use your music. Use all your music for golden nuggets. 
Take all, you have over 100 songs. Take all 100 songs and use all those songs to be your soundtrack for Golden Nuggets. So he bought the music from the 80s, music from the 90s, the new music, and he put them all together and we sing them together from different decades to be a blessing because he anointed the music because he said, I want your music to be under the Bible study. So God knew it. God knew it even before, even before we had Golden Nuggets. He put the music together for Golden Nuggets, way before Golden Nuggets. God knows the plans he has. God knows the plans he has. He had me write all the music way before Golden Nuggets. So when Golden Nuggets came, he said, your music's ready. Your music's ready. Now, here's a Bible study. Put your music with the new Bible study. So he knew God knows the plans he has for each one of us. Just stay with it and be obedient. Amen. Man, Jonna. Uh, yes, breath prayers are powerful. Amen. Amen. Uh, Tanya, God did exceedingly abundantly above what you asked. Amen. Amen, Tanya. Amen. Miss Nettie, yes, burns in my spirit instead of the world. The word burns in your spirit instead of the world. Amen, Miss Nettie. Praise God. That's what it's all about. Amen. Tanya, Abraham's servant did a breath prayer and it worked. Amen. Amen. That's right. Abraham's servant did a breath prayer and it worked. Amen. Snurks, God is truly a good God. Amen. Hey, Tanya, I love all your songs. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. And, and really, I haven't used all the songs yet. The, the, my, my website, John will put up in a minute. My website has all the songs. There's about 100 songs on my number one music website. If you want to hear the other music, it's numberonemusic.com forward slash Fitzhouston. That's where you hear all my music. I haven't used all of it yet. I've used about two thirds of the music he's given me right now. But the, the everything he's given me is actually on my website, numberonemusic.com forward slash Fitzhouston. If you ever want to go there and just have a, a, a name and password, you hear all the music I've written uh, to be used still. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, Miss Nettie, it works sometimes, but it works sometimes when I'm out in public playing, playing you people. <laughs> playing, playing you people. Uh, a comment say, "Oh, you, oh, oh, I, I got it. It works sometimes. I'm out in public, playing you, and people, people say they feel the spirit, or they feel they needed that as they hear the music. Right, Miss Nettie? They hear you playing the music, and people hear the music and tell you they feel something. Amen. Is that right, Miss Nettie? Praise God. Amen. Uh, Michael Lynn, four years ago when I first heard your music." I thought it was wacky. <laughs> Amen. Because remember, some of the songs, the, the older songs had a completely different sound. Like the songs we did today, the very first songs, they came from a different time zone. The, the 88, the, the first four songs, uh, I give praise every day. Uh, the, 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 hey, Bob, and Toe and Body Rock and Praise, and Mission Impossible, Nothing's Impossible. Those songs were written in 1988. With a keyboard that didn't wasn't even a real keyboard. Yet God said, "Bring those songs back." It wasn't even a real keyboard, but it but the music. I heard the music. And I wrote it with whatever I had, and God blessed it, even though it wasn't a real keyboard. So it was able to still bless the music. Amen. Uh, Claudette, our our time, our time is not God's time. I am so grateful for the same songs. One one might. Minister, one might minister today and another might minister another day. Amen. Amen, Claudette. That's exactly right. Each song has a different purpose. Amen. Snurks. The songs wake me up. And what a wonderful what a wonderful alarm clock it just plays in my head. The songs, the songs are your alarm clock. And that's why we sing them every day. And that's why I was saying earlier, Snurks. Sometimes I wake up singing one of our songs that we sing every day. A, a, a lot of times I wake up, I need you, Jesus. Sometimes I wake up saying, uh, sometimes I wake up singing, dance to the Lord. I told you that before, like since the beginning. Sometimes I wake up singing, dance to the Lord. And that day usually, that day usually has some crazy stuff coming. And so I wake up singing, dance to the Lord, to praise my day into praising and start the day. Amen. Amen. Uh, Jonna, amen, Miss Nettie. No matter, no matter what, or how many times they hear it, Mr. Fitz's music draws people and it speaks to them. Amen, Jonna. Praise God. Praise God. Michael Lynn, it didn't make sense. I remember thinking 
that I didn't didn't wait. Uh, well, I remember hearing it. I I remember thinking that I didn't like it. I'm being honest. But what's so funny? How incredible! How incredibly un uplifting it was, and beautiful. And you could just hear it for hours. Say amen. So 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 it drew you in, right, Michael? In the music drew you in as it plays. See, so when the spirit is in something, when the spirit is in something, it pulls you in to the spirit because the music, the spirit is in the music. So when you connect to the music and you let your spirit let go in the music, then you feel the spirit in the music. If that makes sense? When you when you hear, hear the music, the spirit is in the music. When you hear the music, the music, the spirit in the music is touching your spirit and then it draws you in. Even like Michael said, Michael says, at first your ear says, I don't like that kind of music. But then the spirit touches and as the spirit in the song touches your spirit, it pulls you into the music. Amen, Michael Lynn? Amen. Thank you, John. John. John just put the website. That is my music website. That site is where all my music is listed. So if you want to hear the other songs, all the music is listed at that website right there. Nomormusic.com forward slash Fitz Houston. Thank you, John. <laughs> Amen. Amen, John, uh, Michael Lynn. I'm not kidding. It's, it is a complete pull on my spirit towards God. Amen. Amen. So even when you're having a bad day, even when you're having a bad day, it pulls you into the spirit of God for you, whatever song is playing. Amen. That's God right there. But God, I have to say it. I can't take credit. That's God. And that's how the Holy Spirit brings it together. How God uses the music to speak to you, to bring you into the word of God. That's God and the Holy Spirit together. Amen. Amen. Uh, Michael Lynn, the books of the Bible, I listen to it, I listen to it down the desert freeway every morning before work in my, in my wilderness wanderings and your songs changed my life and literally got me through that time. Amen, Michael Lynn. That was, uh, uh, Michael Lynn, that was Brejo Springs, right? When you were in Brejo Springs, is that what you're talking about? I remember you said Brejo Springs was in the desert. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you for sharing, Michael Lynn. The songs... The songs they they change your life and literally got you through the time. Praise God, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Amen, Amen. Gary, I feel a whole lot better. I feel a whole lot better when I praise. Amen, Gary. And that's the key, Gary. That's why we say praise your way through and praise your way to the victory. Because the praise, like we said Tuesday, there is power in praise. There is power in praise. So when you feel down, praise. Depressed, praise. Fear, praise. Worry, praise. When you feel you're losing it, start praising God. Praise God anyhow. Like I said, Philippians 4.11. Philippians 4.11. I have learned in whatever state to be content. And that's what that verse means. I have learned in whatever state. Good times, bad times. I've learned in whatever state to be content and praise God. And thank God for every day. Whatever you're going through, praise God anyhow. Praise God anyhow. And that's what it's all about. We must live and praise and pray. We must live in a state of praise and prayer. That must be a lifestyle. In order to survive in this world, in order to survive in this world, we must live, praise, and pray. Stand still, word of God. Praise, pray, stand still, word of God. Praise, pray, stand still, word of God. We must live that every day. Every day. Praise, pray, stand still, word of God. That is the key. That is the key to victory over every attack. That is the key to victory over what Ever you're going through, don't let the don't let the devil come in. Keep the devil out. By how you keep the devil out? By praise, pray, stand still. Word of God, stand still. God's presence. Have no fear. Stand still. That's what I mean by stand still. Have no fear. Stand still. Under attack. Stand still. Under fear. Stand still. Worry, stress, anxiety, negativity. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Have no fear. Stand still. That's what it means, stand still. Word of God, and speak word of God. And speak word of God over every situation. Speak word of God, speak word of God over every situation. Matthew 4, 4, man, 
shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Man shall not live. Man shall not live by bread alone. That's the world. We can't live by the world. Man shall not live by bread alone. The world. But by every word from the mouth of God. We can't live by the world, but through every word out of the mouth of God, we speak the word over our situation. Speak the word of God over your struggle in the world. Speak the word of God over every situation. Speak the word of God over everything you're going through in this world. To keep it covered. To pray over it. To praise over it. Stand still and talk to the Lord about it. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God for you. First Thessalonians, first Thessalonians 5, 16, 18. First Thessalonians 5, 16, 18. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God for you. To pray without ceasing. To pray wherever you are, whenever, however, pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God for you. And it works every time. Amen. Amen. And Michael Lynn, uh, when I <laughs> you, you used to work with mean girls. When you used to work with some mean girls and, and it gave you strength. Oh, amen. 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 Uh, Michael Lynn, when you have some co-workers, whoa, when you have co-workers, you need to pray over them. You need, if you have some mean co-workers, you need, you got to go and pray it up. You got to go and pray it up. You got to go and pray it up. We have some mean co-workers. Amen, Lisa. Hey, Sister Woman of God. Hey, Lisa. How you doing? Sister Lisa. Amen. Word of God. When you have mean co-workers, you got to praise up first. You got to pray up first. Before work, before you go into the workplace, if you have crazy co-workers or mean co-workers, pray first before you enter the building. Pray on the way there. Pray in the car, on the freeway. In the parking lot and then go into work and now you're ready for whatever it is because you praised pray stand still word of god on your way to work do not go into a hostile workplace without prayer say it again do not go into a hostile workplace without prayer they'll eat your life they will eat your life if you go to work without prayer Especially if the prayer workplace is venomous. Hey, Glenda, if your workplace is venomous, you must go in with prayer and praise and stand still, word of God, to be able to survive eight hours a day in a hostile environment, to be able to keep you safe in a hostile environment. You must pray first and praise and stand still, word of God, in order to survive the eight hours in that job. To keep you grounded. Amen. Amen. Amen, Lisa. <laughs> Amen, Glenda. Praise God. Amen. And that's all right, Glenda. Hey, we, we're talking about just testimonies here, as always. Testimonies. So we understand now. Now, 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 has anyone now, I'm waiting to hear someone before we close, before we close, I still wait for someone to give me an example of when did you have to praise your way out of something? Give me a quick example. Give me a quick example of when what was it you had to pray out of or pray through? I want you to give me one in one quick statement. When did you have to praise your way through something? What was going on? I gave you my example. I had to praise my way through the, the channel being hacked. So in your life, give me just one example of when you had to praise your way out of something. Whatever it is, just one sentence and then tell me more later. When have you had to praise your way out? Out of something. Hey Heather, hey Heather, uh, uh, Miss Nettie, the mean girls, <laughs> the mean girls. That's right, uh, Miss Nettie. That's right. Uh, 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 Michael Lynn, Michael Lynn, the mean girls were your assignment to touch them. That's right, Miss Nettie. You were put there to bless those mean girls. Even if it didn't work while you're there, you did plant a seed. A hey, hey, Michael Lynn, you plant a seed, like Miss Nettie said. Your job was to plant a seed. And those mean girls, amen, amen. Uh, 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 Lisa, this is Lisa. The other day, my daughter, my daughter's car was stolen. Oh, we keep that in prayer. We keep that in prayer, um, uh, Lisa. Your other day, your 
your your daughter's car was stolen. So we keep we keep praising through that that it'll be found or something will turn out so they won't be destroyed. Amen, uh, Sister Lisa. Amen. Snurks, I praise my way through a text this morning to keep the peace. Praise through a text, Snurks. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Sheila, I had to praise through a heavy spirit attack this morning. This morning. That this morning, Sheila, I had to praise through a heavy spirit attack. We all go that we all feel that one. If you love the Lord, you will definitely go through a heavy spirit attack. Because the devil doesn't want you to, to be happy. The devil hates praise. He hates praise. So I guarantee you, you will be attacked to try to steal your praise. And that's why you praise God anyhow. You praise through it. Praise to the victory. Anyhow. Amen, Michael M. I was, uh, God was showing me. God was showing me the difference. And that office needed the cloud of oppression lifted. Amen. See? See, Michael M.? That was your assignment, like Ms. Nettie said. That was your assignment, like Ms. Nettie said. God shows you the difference and that the office needed the cloud of oppression lifted. And your praise lifted the oppression. Your spirit, your anointing lifted the oppression in that office. Amen, Michael Lynn. You see it right there. Amen. Alisa, they found it. They found it. They found it. They destroyed it. They destroyed it. She has a real now. Uh, uh, but the insurance... The insurance company, amen. The insurance company think fraud is involved. They did it on purpose to get insurance, amen, amen. But that is, there's a lot of fraud like that, accident fraud, amen, Lisa. We'll keep that lifted. We'll keep that situation lifted right now in Jesus' name, amen, Lisa. Sister Lisa, amen. We'll keep that lifted right now in Jesus' name, amen. Snurks, uh, yes, that's what bore it bore down to that uh, Snurks, amen. Praise God to keep keep your praise on, amen. Um, Heather, Heather, when your dog ran away, when your dog ran, your dog ran away. Uh, uh, Heather, Heather, did you find him? Uh, were you were you able to find your dog okay, or did it just happen? Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Heather. Uh, Tanya, some things require prayer. Other times, you have to praise your way through. Amen, Tanya. Sometimes requires prayer. Other times, you praise your way through to the victory. Amen, Tanya. Amen. Michael Lynn. I released anointing on that place every day. I would not have, I would not have gotten through that four years without morning praise with me. Amen. Praise God, Michael Lynn. I'm so glad that was a blessing to me, help you make it through that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen, Lisa. We keep that lifted. Praise God. Keep that lifted. Your, your, your daughter's car situation will be resolved with the insurance company and be able to prove that and reveal that fraud fraud was involved with that accident amen amen praise god hallelujah thank you lord uh snurks same thing happened to me denied my claim because they said fraud for my car but god praise my way through praise my way to the to ram in the bush you're praising your way to the ram in the bush amen snurks keep praising even when it looks dark both snurks snurks and 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 um uh snurks and lisa keep praising even when it looks tough, even in darkness, keep praising. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Uh, Glinda, breath prayers kept me going when I when I couldn't talk to my child due to her attitude. The breath prayers kept you when you couldn't talk to your, to your daughter. Amen. To your child due to her attitude. You, you prayed while she had an attitude. Your breath prayers kept you kept you peaceful. Through her attitude, Amen, Glenda. Amen. Uh, Heather, your dog CC is very old. Amen. Praise God. Uh, please pray for CC. Uh, she's very old. Amen. So we'll Heather will put that on prayer list. Heather will put that on the prayer list that you will find your dog and your dog will be okay. Uh, not no no damage or not abused or nothing like that. We pray for you, the return of your dog in good good condition. Amen. Uh, Glenda. Peace reigns in my home from that moment. Amen. Peace reigns in your home from that moment. You did breath prayers. The power of that right. The power of breath prayers. Thank you, Glenda. That is the power of breath prayers. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Heather, we did not, we didn't find her. Oh, she she's been gone for three years. She's we did, you didn't find her 
Uh, have you put? I, I, I'm assuming you already put uh, missing dog signs up. Amen. Well, well, wherever your dog is, wherever your dog is, we pray the dog is okay, and that maybe even though it's not right, somebody found her and is still treating her right. So, so even though you didn't find her yet, hopefully in some way resolution will come to that. So we just pray, uh, Heather. We'll pray for resolution and and safety of your dog, wherever she is. Praying first, she's safe. And then somehow you may be reconnected to her and somehow in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, it's time to wrap up, family. You guys have been great. We got you to wrap up. Uh, any further, any further testimonies, any further testimonies, please put them under this video. Any further testimonies, please put them under this video. You guys shared greatly. This, as always, this was a great, a great kingdom biz, a great time again of sharing testimonies. Your, your, your reports, your praise reports, your prayer requests. This is always great to come together and iron, sharpen iron. We come together as fellowship and share with each other to be able to pray for each other. As we share each other, we able to pray for each other regarding what's shared. And that is a power of kingdom biz and fellowship. That is a power of fellowship and kingdom biz to be able to pray for each other another great time together as always another great time together amen amen so we'll, we'll keep all these under our prayer list we're going to play this back and put all these requests on our prayer list to pray for all of you who shared what you're praying for we'll pray for everyone and we pray for those who didn't share some of you who didn't get to share yet who are listening right now put them put your request under this video put your your testimony under this video and we pray for everyone who responds now or archives we'll pray for everyone right now and father god we thank you lord we thank you lord for this great day lord we thank you lord for this great day of sharing as always a great day of testimonies a great day of, of sharing how good you've been to each person here lord lord bless the entire fellowship right now lord bless everyone right now Who's been dealing with whatever it is they're dealing with, Lord. Bless you right now. Bless each person, Lord, and touch each situation right now. That anyone is going through right now, Lord. Because you are a right now God. And now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things unseen. So our faith, Lord, our faith right now in you, Lord. Our faith right now in you, Lord, is to trust you, Lord. To touch these prayer requests right now, Lord. And right now, as I pray this corporate prayer, Lord, I pray this corporate intercessory prayer, Lord, over the fellowship right now. Lord, I stand in agreement right now, Lord, with the entire fellowship right now. I stand in agreement with every prayer request right now on the heart of every fellowship member right now. I stand in agreement with prayers for healing, for provision, protection, revelation, resolution. And whatever prayer request right now is on the heart of each fellowship member right now, Lord. I stand in agreement that every prayer request shall come to pass. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much, Lord. Hear our prayer, O Lord. And Father God, as we continue to come together as a fellowship six days a week, Lord, daily, Lord, daily we pray not only for world peace, but daily we pray for a supernatural, a supernatural hedge protection to be over everybody, Lord, to protect us from any hurt, harm, or danger, from unexpected shootings, accidents, natural disasters, or violence, Lord, of any kind. We pray for healing, Lord, a supernatural healing over the pandemic, variants, and every other disease, Lord. We pray for restoration, Lord, and healing and provision. We pray for our leaders, for justice, for change. We pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spiritual rebellion, division, racism, and hatred. As we commit, as a fellowship, to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek your face, to turn from our wicked ways. So you will hear from heaven. 
forgive our sins and heal our land. All these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For touching each person here, live archive. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God, fellowship. Before we close, before we close, I always know someone's watching or maybe visiting for the first time who doesn't understand why this fellowship is always on fire. We come together around the world in praise and worship and fellowship. Haven't ever met physically, but knowing we all love our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And that makes us our brothers and sisters in Christ. But someone right now listening doesn't understand this kind of fellowship. So right now, I'm going into the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing until after closing prayers. Anything typed during the prayers is to lead our respect for the Holy Spirit. Amen? Right now, I'm talking to the person listening. And you've been, here, you've been here the whole time. And you heard the intense, you heard the intense praise in the beginning, the jazz praise. And you heard the prayers. But right now, you, you're having trouble connecting because right now, your life is falling apart. Worry, fear, stress, anxiety is all over you. Families turned away from you. Friends stabbed you in the back. And you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now. Yet somehow, you find yourself on this channel and you have no idea how you got here. And that's because God brought you here. Because God sees what you're going through right now. Physically, spiritually, emotionally. And that is why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart. Because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil's telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie of the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and then you fell back into sin, there's nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil, the devil can do to stop you. So right now, if you're backslider and you want to come back to the Lord. Or right now your life is filled with depression and darkness and hopelessness. Or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Either way, I want you to pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done. And the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is Son of God. I believe He died on the cross. For me and my sins. And was raised from the dead. Right now, I accept Jesus and Lord and Savior. And I commit right now. I will not do a single thing in life. Or make a single decision in life. But I'll give to you first. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart. And remove from me anything and everything. That's not like you. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is right to receive the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us, that teach us, that guide us, and also convict us. We are not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you how to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day. Spend time with God. <clears throat> Feed your spirit. Start your flesh. Feed your faith and start your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you will feel in your life, which is God let you know. 
it's gonna be all right. God's got this. God's got you. The next step is to repent. And repent means to change your ways from sinful ways to God's ways. And again, the more time you spend with God every day, the stronger you get. And next thing you know, you'll turn away from the sinful things you used to do. And instead, seek God's will and God's way according to his word. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash. And every other demonic spirit, named unnamed, seen unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. And we cast all you demonic spirits out of mind, out of our spirit, our home, our kids, our marriages, back to the pit of hell for which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding, loose restoration, Lord, restore, restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord, bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep a hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose a supernatural healing, physical healing, spiritual and emotional healing, but your stripes were healed. And we confess, Lord, we confess every day, I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Every day, confess it. And thank him. Confess it. Thank him. Every day, pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose a supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough. A supernatural debt cancellation, Lord. Lord, let your blessings, Lord. Your blessings, abundance, Lord. Rain down, Lord. Rain down on fellowship, air, financial need, whatever it is, Lord. For you, O oh Lord, to supply all our need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want anything when the Lord is my shepherd. Let's say this part together, fellowship. Repeat after me. For I am the head, not the tail. I am above, not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I'm blessed going in and blessed going out. I'm blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall my enemies hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know. Every day we take time, every day we take time to see it, to visualize the miracle, see it, believe it, and then receive it into your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We we'll never know the exact when, but because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day you wake up, could be a day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So expect your miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face of divine approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to every you. A blessing to every you pray over. A blessing to everyone you pass by. And blessed without opening your mouth. Because the love and light of the Lord is all over you 24 7, 365, and completely pure. Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. The fellowship say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah.